Hi graduates, it's Stella from Maple University and this is Stella's short and sweet preview for Distilled from Patterson Games. Dear Stella, congratulations dear, you have inherited my distillery. Back in the day it was glorious, so now it's up to you to restore it and, and be, be the, the master, master distiller that I once was. The game plays 1-4 to four players, with mechanics such as set collection, resource management, and push your luck. The game is of medium complexity. In Distilled, you are one of the competing distillers trying to purchase the right ingredients and recipes to mix them together to create a spirit each round and sell or age it. All in the aim to have the most spirit points and be a master distiller. The round starts with a market phase. On a play turn, each player purchases one card, one player at a time, going around until everyone passes. This is where they need to grab enough ingredients, bottle and barrel, to make their next spirit. Players can also purchase upgrade cards that will help them in the game, and recipes so they can make more money and spirit points. There's a limit on how many cards each player can get from the basic market, cause some of them are free, but if the player has the money, they usually would want to buy from special items market before the opponents take the item they want. Then it goes to distillery phase, the meat and the alcoholic part of the game. Let's make soju or whiskey or vodka and more. All players can do this simultaneously to plan what they need for their brew. Each brew needs at least one yeast, water and sugar in each of their washback location. Each player adds one alcohol card per each sugar card they have to the mix and shovel everything together. Then remove the top and bottom cards, just like missing the real spirit. You cut the first and last part of the run. You keep it for your next bruise. Whatever left behind is the spirit you make. You can always make basic moonshine or vodka, but for the more profitable recipes, you need to have bought the recipe add the correct ingredients and also more ingredients to the mix to mitigate the potential loss of ingredients. Then you sell the spirit for money and spirit points. The better ingredients or bottles will give you more points or money. Or some spirits you must age, in which you add one flavor card each end of the round randomly, give you a hint of grassy, nutty or manure flavor. They all give you points. Game then continues to the next round. After 7 rounds, game ends, count your secret objectives and bottle set collection points, and the player who has the most spirit points is the master distiller, making their family so proud, and wins. How nice it is, right? Mixing your own spirit feels so real. A lot of research seems to have been done to make this game. Everything is very thematic, even the flavor notes on the rulebook immersing us even more to the science of distillery. Everything seems to make sense, even with the randomness of pulling the cards when mixing. Speaking about that randomness, there are ways to mitigate your luck and help you in the game by getting the upgrade cards. Always helpful to mitigate pulling the wrong cards out of my spirit mix. Or unlock more recipes so there are more options to make with what the result you get. The only thing I wish I can do is to taste what I've just created. Cause they look so tasty. So thanks for watching folks. Check out this deal on Kickstarter. I'll put the link in the description below. The components featured in this video are prototype, so rules and artwork are not final. You would help us by like the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and comments below if you find this video useful. I also share my board games journey on Instagram. Hopefully I will see you there too. See you next time.